Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Explosive Returns and Shocking Revelations in Salem Jennifer's emotional homecoming triggers a heartwarming reunion with Abby, but the town is rocked as Stefan drops wild news, leaving everyone stunned. Meanwhile, Abigail unlocks a steamy memory about her affair with EJ, igniting chaos. And in a dramatic twist, Sarah wakes up to a chilling discovery while Brady scrambles to piece together the hazy details of his drunken night. Secrets are unraveling faster than ever, Salem will never be the same. Days of Our Lives August 16, Friday Spoilers, Gabby Grills Kristen, Stefan's Wild News, Jennifer returns for the Abbey reunion. Stefan D. Mara is going to get a major shock because, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers on Friday, August 16, Chad D. Mara will have to justify the strange woman he brought into the D. Mara mansion. Chad will insist that Abigail D. Mara has returned to them and go over the entire story of the mysterious woman. Jennifer Horton Devereaux has already received information from Jack Devereaux by phone but she plans to inquire further when she gets back to Salem. Jennifer will be able to get her questions answered by Jack, which will allow her to process Abigail's reappearance and get ready to meet her amnesiac daughter once more. According to teasers for other days, Gabby Hernandez de Mera will question Kristen de Mera over Ava Vitali. A subdued attempt to get information out of Kristen could escalate into a heated confrontation in which Gabby divulges her knowledge. Before exposing the cheats, Gabby told Connie Vinasiki that she needed to obtain additional proof and ammo. Nevertheless, it appears that Kristen will confess to Gabby what Connie informed her during their interrogation. There can be a Friday cliffhanger where Ava and Stefan know it's game over because they will both be facing Gobby's fury come Monday's Days of Our Lives episode. Let's discuss Melinda Trask's troubling discovery in the interim. According to previews for Days, Melinda will learn some shocking information regarding Connie, at which point she will accuse Gobby's executive assistant of being a liar and fill Ava in. Connie's admirers are aware of her problem-solving style, so it won't be long before she discovers she has a new one. Melinda will be Connie's next victim since the former DA will be too near to uncovering all of her misdeeds. Melinda will soon find herself in some hazardous situations, but she will survive to tell the story. We'll give you our predictions on all the drama that's building, but according to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Trask will reveal some shocking information about Connie and spark some dangerous turmoil. Days of Our Lives Spoilers Abigail's Recollection of the EJ Affair A Warm Memory Regarding Chad's Brother Unlocked? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Abigail D. Mara will struggle to live up to all the demands placed on her. The pressure on Abigail to recall her previous life will only increase in light of the new DNA evidence. Abigail will feel as though she is lost in a completely different universe, despite the fact that she won't want to disappoint Chad D. Mara and everyone else who cares about her. Eventually, Abigail might come to the conclusion that she needs a vacation from Chad and the hopeful expression in his eyes whenever they converse. All it will do is make Abigail feel bad about not being able to give Chad the complete recall he so much desires. Day's teasers indicate that E.J. D. Mara will cross paths with Abigail somewhere in the week of August 19th to 23rd. This is going to cause some embarrassment because E.J. has never seen Abigail's face like this. When Abigail meets Chad's older sibling, though, intriguing things will happen. It appears that it might trigger a memory Abigail has connected to E.J., perhaps even the passionate relationship she previously shared with him. Due to their repeated hookups in 2014, Abigail and EJ found themselves at the target of Sammy Brady's wrath. Even though Chad was unmarried and unattached at the time, he became unhappy when he learned about the events between EJ and the woman he was in love with. After he got back to Salem, Chad blew up at EJ as a result. Kate Monsey played Abigail back then while James Scott continued to play E.J. during that explosive plot. 
Naturally, it would be simple for days to include a hazy memory that was captured on camera featuring Dan Furigal and Annalyn McCord. But perhaps Abigail will just come clean about what she saw in her flashback. In any case, maybe Abigail will notice the intense expression on EJ's face and realize that they have a past together. Day's spoilers predict that when Chad discovers later that Abby remembers something, he will receive some encouraging news. If Abigail's only recollection is of a violent altercation with his brother, how would Chad feel? Given how alone EJ is feeling following his breakup with Nicole DiMera, that might lead to a host of issues. Are Abigail and EJ preparing for a heartbreaking new chapter in their relationship? No matter how you cut it, our forecasts indicate potential Demera turmoil, so stay tuned to Days of Our Lives to find out what's coming up. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, if Abigail chooses EJ over him, Chad will be saddened and enraged, at least while the majority of her memories are gone. When Sarah awakens, an unsettling development has occurred, and Brady is desperately trying to recall his wild night. On this episode of Days of Our Lives, Sarah awakens to a different world, Brady attempts to put things together, Fiona gets anxious, Rachel tells Kristen, and Jada looks for proof. Marlena is still in her robe when Kristen and Rachel arrive at the townhouse in the morning. Marlena gives Rachel a bare embrace, beaming with excitement at seeing her granddaughter. According to Kristen, Rachel had a nightmare in which something horrible had occurred to her father. She woke up crying. She had to see him immediately. Brady, meantime, approaches his car's driver's seat in the parking garage. At the crime scene outside the square, Paulina runs into Jada. According to Jada, the driver that struck Sarah does not have an ID, but they will obtain video from the security cameras. They concluded that the automobile had struck a distant post based on the skid marks. She will have the gray paint found examined by forensics. Brady exits his gray automobile in the parking garage, unsure of his purpose. He remembers drinking at small bar in the past. Oh my god. Did I drive while intoxicated? Fiona pours her and Xander coffee at the hospital, where they are still wearing their clothes from the previous evening. Maggie passes away and starts crying. Sarah and Xander would be on their honeymoon right now if she had discovered the cabin key and boarded the ferry. Xander reassures her that the person who ran Sarah over and abandoned her to perish is the only one at fault. Fiona, guilty, has a flashback where she was that person. Xander promises to go down that scumbag and use his own hands to kill them if Sarah doesn't survive. Arriving in the lobby, Kayla informs everyone that Sarah is stable. They were able to mend the numerous cuts she had on her spleen and liver. It's amazing she doesn't have any broken bones, but they still need to assess the soft tissue bruises and inflammation she has. If all goes according to plan, Kayla is sure Sarah will make a full recovery. While they wait for Brady to wake up, Marlena takes Rachel into the kitchen of the townhouse to prepare pancakes. Remaining in the living room, Kristen takes a call for work. Brady stomps in. He maintains he was working all night when Kristen accuses him of taking a shameful walk. He steps out of the living room, and Kristen rolls her eyes and lets out a slow breath. Given the likelihood that the motorist was intoxicated, Jada gives an officer at the crime site instructions to check with the local bartenders. She tells Paulina the wonderful news about Sarah after receiving a call from Kayla. Jada races to interrogate her at the hospital. When Xander arrives in Sarah's hospital room, she is beaten and mistreated. Does she need anything, he asks. Just you, she murmurs feebly. When she recovers, Xander tells her that Bonnie is keeping an eye on Victoria and offers to take her on the honeymoon of her dreams. If beer is her first word, they'll know who's at fault. At least it won't be his mother's fault, Sarah jokes. Jada tells Maggie in the foyer that she's hoping Sarah can identify the driver. In her chair, Fiona cowers. 
Maggie sees her daughter when Xander gets back. Jada informs Xander that although local businesses will be consulted, city surveillance was unable to obtain any footage of the incident. Recounting the events of the night, he discovers that the driver was still present when he discovered Sarah. For what reason would they remain? Jada assumes they wanted to guarantee assistance arrived. And from there, they ran away. Xander remarks, pointing out that it is illogical. Fiona tries to stop Jada from talking to Sarah when she says she'll go talk to her, but she is unsuccessful. Kristen hangs up with Mr. Shin, and Marlena makes her way back to the living room. When Rachel arrives, she informs them that her father isn't in his room and wasn't even in bed the previous night. Brady emerges, transformed. Rachel leaps into his arms. Kristen assists him in covering, as his bed is already prepared. Rachel questions if she and Brady alone can accomplish anything. They are having a mother-daughter day today, and Kristen is okay with it. Later, he can give her a call to discuss things. As Rachel bids Brady farewell, she expresses her relief that he avoided being crushed by a steamroller, unlike in her dream. Marlena purses her lips and narrows her eyes at Brady when Rachel and Kristen go. She was relieved to see his car in the garage early last night, even though it was parked in her spot, because he has been arriving home late lately. Brady had a flashback to their drinking days with Fiona as she goes to give John a painkiller. Brady phones Fiona, frantic to find out what on earth happened the previous evening. He recalls waking up behind the wheel of his automobile after spending time at small bar with her. How did I get home, do you know? In a flashback, Fiona places Brady behind the wheel so that he won't know she was the one driving in the unlikely event that Xander finds out his car hit Sarah. It's better that you fall than that I do. She pretends that she tried to get Brady to take a taxi home, but he insisted that driving was okay. But at this moment, she is unable to speak because Sarah had an accident. She ends the call. Brady remembers hearing the crunch of metal after an accident as he becomes more stressed. The only thing Sarah can recall about the car is that it was gray when Xander brings Jada to her room. Too much light was coming on for the driver to see. Jada leaves after promising to find out who did this. Kayla enters the room, and Sarah shudders. Sarah is covered with a blanket by Xander, but she is not aware of it. She cannot feel his hand as he squeezes her legs. I have no feelings at all. Kristen and Rachel are eating pastries in the square. It surprises Kristen that even after eating pancakes, she is still hungry. Rachel admits that she disposed of them in the trash. Grandma is my favorite, but even she can't make cereal taste good. After coming across them, Paulina notices that Rachel has written to her about taking her position. Funny enough, Kristen asks her if she wants to be mayor. Rachel shoots back, well, she's rich. Assuring her, Paulina says, not from being mayor. Kristen has Rachel put in her earplugs when Paulina brings up the hit and run. As she and Paulina move aside, she finds out that Sarah was the victim. All they know is that the driver was intoxicated and the vehicle was gray. Paulina tells Rachel to start with class president but wishes her luck with her mayoral ambitions before she leaves. Rachel tells Kristen that she overheard them talking. She observes that many people, including Daddy, drive gray automobiles. Kristen's eyebrow goes up. Brady takes an aspirin and reads his tablet nervously at the townhouse. After returning, Marlena informs him that Sarah was struck by a car, and the driver fled the scene. Kayla tests Sarah's reflexes while she's at the hospital. She doesn't feel anything. When Jennifer returns home later on Days of Our Lives, Melinda tells what she knows about Connie. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.